we have to make well we don't have to but it's not just for detailing you gotta have the whole melon biz to build the melon house I mean I'm gonna have to fake the whole melon part for uh, for the um, like floor or whatever I'm trying to say <laughs> Since I am completely unsure. Okay, you. For Dicka. Okay, either I heard a squid or there is a drowned or something out there because it sounded pretty gross. And considering I think the squids are gross, it might have been a squid just telling me it was gross from a distance. There we go. Okay, now. Come on, cows. You and you. I have no sheeps up here. I. Uh, well, I do need bread. So let's gather up some wheat for me so I can make me some more bread. And then, oh. I don't want to jump out of the water on this stuff. I've been told that it's okay to jump out of water onto a uh, hoed spot, but with the way my luck is, I don't really want to risk it, so. At least you can jump onto the, the melons which is kind of amusing in its own way. I know I weigh enough that if I jumped onto a melon, it sure wouldn't just stand up to my weight. Okay. Get some titers in. Very good, very good. Okay, grab a little shot eye. And then we will work on heading back downstairs and getting some stuff done. The stuff is such a vague word. Plant some more trees. See about under Marvin it. Hi. You guys ready yet? Yeah, no? But you are? Yeah, well. And I I might have plenty of piggly wigglies, I don't know, but it never hurts to get more baby piggly wigglies. How about you guys? You ready to reproduce again? No? Okay. I'll go check on everyone downstairs because I got plenty of junk that I want to throw into a bucket down there. And then we'll see about collecting some skin. It's not that I try to sound evil. It's just that that's the way it is. You gotta get their skin. It's stated. Get some skin in the game. Now, somebody was also mentioning, not j I don't know how. Here. That if you put like a, a, a thingy in a thingy, then you get a lit up thingy. So I'm gonna. Huh. Okay. Well, let's empty out my inventory first. That was a lot fuller than this. Alright. Okay, we gotta try growing the bamboo beans. Can we just grow those on a regular plot? Okay, we gotta do that too. I need the shovel. And then put that. We're gonna get some more leather. Put all of this. I need to make the breads. Okay, dirt. Dirt there. And dirt. Oh, book. And planks. Okay. You know what? I need to put down the cartography table too. Because I'm not distracted enough. <laughs> uh, what was I grabbing now? I have forgotten. Uh, trees. Oh yeah, it was dirt. Okay. Was there something I was going to make? 
leather. So I need paper. Okay, so we go buh. Two books makes four books. Bingo. Okay, we got one more. So let's go throw this into place. It's like a car. So according to that wiki that I'd read, we just need one here and then one here and it will be maximum enchantage. I need the light in here. I need... How much light does that give up? I don't know, but that's, that's kind of cool. Okay. Okay, um, I need to make a bucket for my blue stuff, and I'm gonna need to get all my blue stuff up here. So, blue stuff, and blue stuff, and blue stuff. Oh, I got plenty of buckets. I don't even need to make one. Good deal. Okay, let's get that done, and then we've gotta go throw dirt everywhere, and then we've gotta work on. Can I just, like, put this up here? And then put my blue stuff up into it? There we go. I'll even put the chests up there. That'd be stupid. I'll put one of the chests up there. As well as a book. That'd be stupid too. Okay. You know what? That would be stupid. So, let's just... There. Okay. <laughs> Now let's test it. Uh, I have enough diamond. I can put it on diamond, though, don't I? Yes. So where's the sticks? What do I do with the sticks? <laughs> oh my god. I am such a unorganized individual. It sometimes makes my brain hurt how disorganized and, and such that I am. But it's part of my unique charm to be a knucklehead. Okay. This is it. Oh. Oh. 15, huh? I need to collect stuffs then, and I'm not sure how. Where's experience, I think is the word I'm looking for. Where is my shears? Let's go shear those sheep and see if that gives us any experience. I'm not getting any experience from shearing my sheep. Do I get experience if I make them reproduce? Like here. Everybody gets some weeds. And you, you guys get some weeds because yes, I need your skin too. Or especially, perhaps. Okay. Let's Let's see what would happen if Yeah, we got it. Let's uh you know what? I mm, I don't want to put it right on an edge. That may not make sense, and I would thoroughly understand if you are confused by what the hell I was trying to say. Because I, quite frankly, had no ideas because I was not speaking English. Okay, let's try that. That's bambooey. <laughs> Which I don't know if bamboo needs water. Thought I heard a slime again, but apparently not. Apparently not. Uh, right next to an edge, which. Not. Well, you know what? Let's grow a lot of bamboo down here. 
let's confuse the entirety of the underground world <laughs> by by growing lots and lots of bamboo down here. There we go. Some there is, somebody had mentioned something about in comments about uh, cobble deep slate cobble and how there was something I could do if I didn't want to deal with deep slate cobble. But you know what I. It looks interesting. I have no issues with all of this stuff. Oak acacia. Is acacia that... Well, I mean, if it's... Oh, well, I got two of those? Well, that's unfair. Well, all right. Uh... It's dark and scary up there, so let's put in some trees. Because that makes sense, doesn't it? <laughs> oh. Well, that was thinking. Did I use it all up, or, or what did I do? I must have just moved it because I was being not very intelligent. And, eh. We'll put another set of these. Hey, you know what? Ah, apparently I'm growing it this way. I don't know not hearing that sound. I don't know where they are. I hear you. And I don't like it. So let's see if we can put in a tree here. Yeah, yeah. You know what? I can hear you, zombie. And I don't care. I mean, I care that I can hear you. What I mean is I don't care about you and, and yours. Uh, you and yours can just... You can burn. I don't mind. You can just burn. I mean, we'd probably have to have some kind of fire first for you to burn in, but still, fact remains, burning is well, well within something that they should be doing. Undermarb is slowly coming together. Having grown all of these trees, growing all these new trees, I think the bamboo's growing. Let's go check this out. I heard skeleton noises that time. Yes. Yes. Bamboo and undermarb. Oh, this is beautiful. I have plenty more. Let's let's grow some more. Right here? Let's see. Yes, that's what I was looking for. Thank you. And then, more bamboo. Because this amuses me greatly, to have bamboo growing in Undermarb. It's awesome. I'm going to put some right here. This is the best part. I love exploration, I love being terrified, but you know what? I like Undermarb. The growing green fields of Undermarb, the trees, the bamboo. You'd hardly even be able to tell that we were deep underground. <laughs> That's a good thing. Okay, let's actually get um, the use of this dirt here to make kind of a ladder because we need to get up and take some of this down like that layer there and I need to put the, the melons on this lower level so I'm gonna have to regrow all those melons and whether or not we just use them for accent or the entire floor. The reason I'm moving this here and we'll be able to see it from the door 
because that's one, two is the door, this is the space, and then this needs to be the, it has a one layer gap, and then, well, that was good. Alrighty. At least I didn't fall. He said, after falling, what I mean is, at least I didn't get hurt. Okay, let's go make melons again. I am just chowing through my bread. That's kind of scary. Here. Uh, breads. Give me the breads. Boom. Ain't a great amount, but it's better than nothing. Okay, lash, I got way too much stuff in my buckets here, so... Well, that I meant to leave over in the other place. That I gotta put down. We need to make melons out of that. I need to... There's a lot of stuff I gotta get done. Let's put these up there. I need to try planting those, too. Okay, so right here, we're going to... Um... I should save this for upstairs because I'm not going to need to make maps down here. Okay. Because I am smart. Melon. Only 17? Okay. They're just hard for my, my eyes to see. Oh, bread. Well, I mean, it's not bread yet. Two books. I still don't have any skin. I think. What am I looking for? <laughs> Melons. Okay. I know there's more, but. And then. Okay. Let's go get these melons placed down. And this is both the next floor and the accenting. Whoa. Bit of weird graphical glitching there again. I'd forgotten that it did that. And then I think, do I wanna use melons for the entire floor or just for accenting? I mean, if I use it just for accenting, then I'm only going to see that from the outside because I would be putting pumpkins here for the floor. Which not just is for the floor, also the continued part of the uh, outside. So that's what it's looking like here. If I kept it this way, you wouldn't be able to see the melons unless I'm going to do this side with melons just so that we can see the difference. Because here's what it would look like from the inside on this side. And then over here, we wouldn't be able to tell because it would be all orange instead. But be that part as it may, I think this part looks pretty sharp so far. And there's a good representative of, well, there's almost a good representative. And there's a good representative of what it looks like. And I need to take these all out and make them into jack-o'-lanterns. I need to not chop down the rest of my house and traveling around on these stairs is making it very difficult to not do so. So let's try, try this over in here this way. Oh, this worked out much better. And then we will go through We'll turn these into, I don't have enough torches yet. That's a weird thing to turn them into. But we will turn these into lit up jack-o'-lanterns. And then we will put them back into place. Okay, I gotta get those from outside. I imagine, yes. They look so cute. If only they didn't like despawn. I'd leave the little things floating around. Okay, so we are getting there on that as well. Oh boy. 
Let's put these things up there, and then let's actually check on... Okay, carved pumpkins, these things, melons, paper. Yeah, because we're going to have to get skin. Let's make bread first. Brr. Bingo. No, I'm not so worried about starving. Oh. Oh. I need more skin. And I am close to getting it. Oops. Didn't mean to cut down that point, whatever it was. So let's just regrow the wheats. Alrighty, cows. Am I gonna let you reproduce first? If you will, please. Because as stated, I need your skin. So we're gonna let you grow while I go up and collect the skin from the upstairs cows. There we go, I think. I'm finally remembering how to travel so I'm not just leaping out one side all the time. That was so much fun. Whoosh! Oh, the sun's coming up. I got a big bald head. Oh, oh, I hope I didn't land on that melon. Am I going to be able to get like five seconds of sleep in or is it going to... Oh, I'm going to murder me a merchant. There we go. I have no ideas how long I was able to sleep. Ugh. Hey, buddy, what do you got for me? Ah, purple dye, orange dye, a bucket of... I would want a bucket of tropical fish, but I could also use those leaves. Um, I don't... Get back in there! You jerk! Okay, I was just gonna trap you before. Look, pal. Yep. Nope, you're dead. And you're you're gonna die. Yeah. Sorry. You're one tough llama. Hi. Speaking of which, I didn't mean to whack you with that. Come on, come on. Okay, baby cow. Anyone else? No? Okay. Give me your skin. And you. I need your skin. A whole lot more than you need it. No. Get away from your your child. I don't want to murder your child as I murder you. Okay. I didn't leave you with anyone to reproduce with. I don't want you to be lonely. There. It was out of mercy. Okay, so I came up to murder all the cows. Now that I've murdered the cows and I've taken their skin, it's time to go back down and murder those cows and collect their skin. They are keeping some skin in the game. Boosh, boosh, boosh. That is the best part of the water elevator. Just that leap. All right, everybody. All right, everybody. Hi. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. Get away from your babies. I don't want to hurt your babies. There. Okay, thank you. Appreciate that. Okay. Let's make some more books. Boo. Oh, really? 11, 12 books? And then book shale? I need wood. There's wood. Boo. And sure. That's more than we need, but I think. Like maybe by one? Okay. Yeah, we go boom, 
and boom. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, which is supposed to be the maximum amount or you know, the uh perfectest good amount. Okay, we're heading upstairs. We're going to grab a couple blocks of, we're gonna grab a couple blocks of dirt. We're gonna head down here and we're gonna plant them in there for all of the animal money and you know what I mean. And it will be good. There we go, traveling up. Come on now. Ah, get off the edges. Quit sticking. Ah, ah, I just keep sticking. There we go. Four blocks of grass. Boosh! Jump, jump, fall. Okay. But first, while we're also just on our way over here to check on this, I mean, look at all of this growing bamboo in Undermarb. This stuff is just growing up a storm. Everywhere. It is beautiful down here. I am absolutely just made happy by this. That Undermarb is looking so good. And... There. You know what? We're going to do it here. That. Thank you. And then piggies will get some. I mean, if. Will you. Thank you. I mean, it should grow and spread out, even if I don't go into every area and do this. Because of the fact that it spreads. But, now we have it. So, son of a gun, let's head up to this elevator. Because I want to thank you very, very much for having come along with me on this journey of exploration. It is greatly appreciated, especially since I've been doing so well just today. And by well, I mean, I didn't do anything special. Or any, or, you know, we didn't go out and we didn't take over the world. We didn't destroy any huge boss. We didn't go exploring any grand and great places. But look at the glory of Undermarb. Look at all these trees that are growing down here where trees have never grown before. Look at these animals, these farms. My house is coming in. We've got bamboo growing here underground. An enchanting table. Undermarb is coming to life fully and completely. It is such a good thing. So again, I would like to thank you very, very much for having come along with me on this journey of exploration. I enjoy playing games like this to no end. And it is, ouch, it is awesome that there are people out there that like to watch, hopefully, at least half as much as I enjoy playing. Oh, the music is starting. So, looking down on Undermarb. Until we meet again, you take care. Have a great day today. I will see you on the flip side, and that is a very good thing.